Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now, if you're a Windows user, you may be concerned about the privacy issue that's going around. So I'm gonna be showing you a quick way of fixing those privacy issues and how to reclaim your privacy back using a free program. So the free program we're gonna be taking a look at is called Privacy Repairer. You can download it here for free. You can even upload it to VirusTotal. It's totally clean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and we're gonna take a look at what it can actually do. So here we have our actual program. You can right click on this and run this as administrator. Say yes to the user account control and this will open up our program. Here we have some uh, legal stuff, so we're gonna say I agree. And as you can see here, we've got a big button that says enable all recommended options. And you can see here the recommended is six out of 41 and total of six out of 58. You've got the actual web address here and uh, you can go right away through here and take a look at these if you wish. Now, one big point I want to make out here is before you make any changes, you'll notice there is no uh, backup or registry backup or any sort of uh, sort of backup system on here. So you may want to consider doing that before you continue, just in case something goes wrong. So let's go through these before we hit the enable all. So you can see telemetry and diagno uh, diagnostics, and that's already on, as you can see here. But you've also got some other areas here, which are off. And I'll just quickly uh, scroll down on this so you can see. So basically you can go through here manually if you want to and just quickly enable these or disable them. Again, uh, system. We'll come up to the top here so you can see. And you can come all the way through here and take a look. Now you can see here smart screen. I wouldn't advise you to disable smart screen. Smart screen is a very good uh, method of protection on the internet. Uh, Windows Defender, again, uh, this is a, another area that you may be using Windows Defender, so you may not want to do that. Uh, so there is some other areas here. A smart screen here you can see. And uh, just bear in mind that when you are starting to remove some of these, uh, you know, you may want to enable these like Cortana and stuff like that. And sometimes when you remove them uh, physically, they're very hard to put back onto the system and you may need to have to reinstall Windows, but this way it's a lot more easier to uh, disable them. So let's take a look here, uh, disable sending language and so on. You can go right the way through here and you can see it's quite extensive uh, the way they've gone about uh, doing this. So all we need to do here, we're gonna go up to the top here about and then click on the enable all options. And you can see here now it's enabled 40 out of the 41. And if you wanted to go through, you can see all the different ones here. Now, again, if you want to turn on some of these, you can do. OneDrive for all users, we can turn that on as well. Some of them are uh, not disabled, but you can do if you wish. Uh, there's a couple of extra ones inside here if you wanted to go around doing that as well. Now block apps from using the network and sending notifications of updates of and you can actually do this if you wish. Uh, there's also some uh, group policy here you can see affected. So just go ahead and enable and disable anything that you want to enable or disable. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Uh, so you don't have to enable everything. You can disable whatever you want and leave it running. Um, it's entirely up to you as I said uh, but we can go into here you can see this has all been disabled and again uh, we've got some other areas here I'm leaving these and a um, media player as well so there you can see it's uh, done all those for us so that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can uh, claim back your privacy using this privacy repairer so I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests, or you just want to join the community, the forum's the place to be. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.